Hello folks, here we are with a, another video from The Shed and on this little video we can be looking at this little chappy here, this little fluorescent uh, all-in-one 11 watt, 9 watt, 7 watt any tube you want in this one, we'll be looking at this now it just was how simple it was and what these were used for this was uh, about a fibre from, a, from an eBay site uh, takes a little uh, lamp, the lamp that I've got with it is a 9 watt fluorescent, it's a warm white um, incredibly cheap from Screwfix, about £1.40 something for this lamp, so we'll put that in a minute um, very good these things are because you can use them to like put in signposts, bulkhead lights or convert in anything like an exit light um, I think road sign um, overhead lights would be good for these so they're really quite good because they're very they're very narrow as well. They're made by Rolex, which is a name that I've come up with before. Okay, and uh, this this particular lamp takes is a it's a it's a G a G23 two pin nine watt. Yeah, so this is dead easy. But I just thought I'd do a video on this just to show you these. It's a bit of fun just to mess around with, and it makes a video. I've already pre-wired it. Here's your wiring connections there. It comes pre-wired with a shallow wire, which is the live there, and then obviously you just put your live, push your live into uh, the back there, you can see there. So you push that in there. So you know, it's straightforward, and we all know that the neutral that always goes straight to the lamp from the mains input anyway. Um, very unusual if you see it. And hoot would go in a ballast and you get a bang as well. It's worth noting though with these kind of um, tiny little push fit holes, I don't think you can see that, it's going to focus up in the back of that. Where that wire goes, you see them tiny little holes that you have to stick a cable in. Well, when you're using the cable, you have to have the cable with the, with, with the hard ends on the stiff kind of cable because one with uh, like that, for instance. You won't get that in there, it'll just all bung up unless you solder it, which is a bit of extra time, isn't it, really? But if you were convenient enough to solder it so you can get in there, um, they are extremely small inlets on these things. Um, I suppose, obviously, manufacturers saving money, small is better, small is cheaper, but not always practical when you're trying to wire electrical equipment up. So, anyway, I've wired this one up so we can see what it does. You've got your earth in terminal there should really put an earth on it because it's a metal thing but I'm not going to touch it once it's plugged in and I trust my own wiring ha 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 right so let's uh, get the lamp out and have a look at what the lamps like so this is a lap uh, lap I think is the um, home you know the home product of screw fix or B&Q even I think B&Q is screw fix or the other way around something like that B&Q in the UK is Virtually the same as a Home Depot over in, in the States, actually, uh, I found out. All owned by the King Fisher Group. So this is the 9 watt. I went for a 9 watt there because it's basically the only one they had in, in stock. And all the ones that I've got compact lamps like this are all 4-pin uh, ones. So this one, yeah, is a 3,000 Kel uh, 3, Kelvin, 3K, 2-pin... Uh, Nine, nine what? Yep, yeah. PLS. It's called. So there we go. There's the little badge on it. Can we focus in on that? There we are. Little lap there. That's the two pins, and of course the alignment slots there. So it goes in. So we shall. This will be the first time this will go. There we go. So it goes in there, and as you can see, it just pokes over the ballast a little bit. Sticks upwards a little bit, but there you go, it is what it is. Uh, and this can take up to 11 watt as well, which is a little bit more that way. And the not and 7 watt, which is a little bit more this way. Technical talk, we love it here on this channel. Technical talk, yeah, bung it here, bung it there. It's a bit like this and a bit like that. And a bit, oh, he's your fatherly. <laughs> right then, so let's plug up this in. Get some electric and plug it in to get that out of the way. There we go, just check the connection that I've made there, which is 
fine. And it is the moment of the truth. Oh, there we go. Aha. There we go. Let's just put this light out. So maybe we can put the bench light out so you can actually see. Um, I'll hold it by the plastic so I don't get a shock or anything off of it. There we go. Can you see that? I think the camera's picking it up kind of okay. There we go. And that's what that looks like. And that's lit. And like I said, these are good for um, converting like exit lights as well. I think exit lights would be really good. Uh, I've got an LED exit light that I really hate, so I think I'm going to put a couple of these in. Um, so for less than a tenner, you can have two of these, less than a tenner, and um, put them in, convert whatever you want from GLS or LED. Um, recently, I converted a LED um, signature sign lantern from LED to two little 8 watt tubes inside so it wasn't LED anymore which was quite fun but if I'd have known I'd have chucked a couple of them in two 11 watts and your way because there's always space there because the ballast is really narrow it's a narrow ballast on these little things so there you go so I thought you'd be interested in that um, something coming up next week at some point we've got another lantern coming in street lantern coming in I won't say too much about it uh, that's coming in for a, a light restoration work um, so we'll be looking at that probably in the next video uh, it should be arriving in about a couple of days time but um, we'll see we'll see what I'm doing see if we get around to it so as always again thanks for watching this little video and uh, I'll see you again on the next one and remember if you're following along you do so at your own risk and be careful with this stuff because let's face it you will bite you okay then thanks for watching give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't I'll see you on the next one Bye.